Hi guys, Darren from Venom Fluid Art here. Hopefully you've just watched The Joy of Pouring, show 10 with Cy Frost and Christy, Bridget, Sheldon and Britt, all in the live chat. If you didn't, there's a link in the description. You can go back and watch it afterwards. Um, today I'm going to have a bit of a play with a 4-inch coaster. Now, I saw Nikki Hussey do a an amazing piece the other day from Nikki D Art. She is absolutely phenomenal. Now, I figured we'd have a bit of a play and do a four inch tile version of what she did. Well, I'm gonna try anyway, because the lady is good. So what I'm gonna do is throw some color down This here is Pinwheel by this little piggy. We're going to also do some cool stuff. Now, I love messing around with interference colors. Huge fan of them. So interference colors look white, but in the right light, they'll actually change color not sure whether you can see that one but that one's actually a red interference color so what we're going to do is go like this just put some patterns through like that then we have some Comet by this little piggy. So what I'm trying to do really is put all my interference colors down over the top section so that when you tilt it in the light, it should all light up pretty cool. So this one's a violet interference. Okay. And what else do I have? Oh, blue. We'll get a blue one. So they're just all different streaks of different color interference colors like that then we shall use another piggy which is lemon uh, lemon sorbet which is really pretty yellow that flicks to gold and just put some highlights through it Then, for the middle section, what we're going to do is add some colours down here. Now, this is a PBO colour, PBO, depending on where you're from. I think it is a blue violet, a red violet. What is it? Blue violet. Okay, we shall grab a custom orange that I've made out of mosh by this little piggy one strip of that we shall use some hustle by this little piggy which is like a fluoro magenta Gonna make this one really bright. So we use Grunge by this little piggy. It's fluorescent green. Don't need too much of it because it goes nuts. We can use some 
This one is Matisse, Southern Ocean Blue, that I've mixed some interference colours with. Just so it sparkles and shimmers and does cool things. I have also some Dioxazine Purple by Atelier that I've mixed some bits and pieces with as well. I think that was uh, Sequins and Interference Violet. I've mixed in with that. And what should we do? We'll use Blue Eyes, this little piggy. Okay, that should do it, I reckon. Oh, will it? Probably not. Um, -dum 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 -dum. What did I do with my fluoro pink? Where are you? Good question. You know what? Doesn't matter. Okay, if anyone knows where I've left my fluorescent pink, leave it in the description or the comments. And I might be able to find it later. We'll go with this one. This is a Pebio fluoro pink. Which works just as good, almost. Well, not quite, but near enough is close enough for what we're doing. Right, now then, we'll put some cell activator down on that. So I have a piece of a playing card, Jack of Hearts this one, for everyone playing at home. So I'm going to put down some Amsterdam. Titanium white, mixed with Australian flow troll. It's roughly about three to one on this one. And I'm going to put down some black, which is the Amsterdam lamp black, mixed with Australian flow troll at about four to one. Okay. Give that a swipe. like so and then wait for the magic to happen hopefully the cells pop up and it looks cool if not I'll have to press pause and try again <laughs> okay here we go they're starting to pop up now give them a little bit of a help shall we just blow it with a straw. Breaks the surface tension. Like that. Now, what we're going to do is grab one of these little pallet knives, like this one, and we're going to scoop up some little bits. So we're going to drag in, go underneath, and just make crazy little patterns as we go. Little dab, little dab, little dab. All of that's going to come off. Spin it around here, we'll go scoop in underneath. And just drag them out like a ribbon. Then what we can do is scoop in under this bit, drag it out, 
and lay it over the top if you want. Same here, scoop it up, tilt as you wobble it out. Just to give you some crazy little patterns through it. And you can actually scoop in, drag other bits, bring other bits over the top of the parts. Entirely up to you what you do with it. If you want, you can grab a skewer. Put some little pieces through it. Like that. Okay, we'll give that a spin. Spin, they'll pop some bubbles as it goes. Bit of a two for one deal there. Spin it back the other way. Then we can actually bring that pattern further down if we want to, just by letting the paint sag a little. Move it around, give it another spin, hopefully my arm's not in the way, then again if my arm's in the way you don't get dizzy, bonus, okay, then you get stuff like that. So all them interference colours at the top all shine through. Alright guys, we've got Christy up next from Creations by Christy. If you click on her name in my title for this video, It'll take you directly to her page, and it should be the first video that you see on the screen. It takes you exactly straight to her little page, so that's the easy way of finding everybody. After that, we've got Sheldon, Britt, and then Lance, I think. So stay on board the crazy train and enjoy the ride. Um, if you like what you've seen, like, share, and subscribe. Ring the notification bell. If you've got any questions, just leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And also, we've got a new Facebook group, um, the Acrylic Crazy Train. So, yeah, drop on by, join the group, and you'll get to learn heaps of different tips and tricks from some amazing artists that are in there. All right, guys, we're up to 13 and a half minutes, so I'll um, end it here. And have fun watching Christy. Alright guys. Have fun. Take care. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.